that Tesla 264 is starting to set up pre market too. That's what I did yesterday on the video. Yeah, I don't think uh, that looks good. And I like this. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, because I did Susie Tour exactly too. And the video, I mean, Tesla's going for it. Let's see if it gets there. Watch it. I'm in these. Stop loss is going to be 8%. 40 cent move. 50 cent move. Contracts are up 3%. <laughs> Whoa, 70 cent move. 8% already. Oh my gosh, 10%. We got a dollar move already into that 265. Look at that. Right into that 265. Let's go. I'm waiting for this 265 to break. There we go. 265 just broke. Hell yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Here we go. All out right there. Nice move. So three minutes into the market. Let's go. W day. First three minutes into the morning, and we're up 13% on a Tesla trade. First three minutes. Such a nice, beautiful move. We got a dollar and a half move in the first three minutes and the team ate as well absolute w of the day market open first three minutes we were done on the day plus 13 percent one and done on the day with tesla and we're gonna go over the trade right now now as you guys can see 264 was that high day right you guys can see the high of this candle in the open was 264. now you guys can see pre-market where are we starting to react at the 264 264 we go back into yesterday 264 264 264 then yesterday again you guys can see it's a general reaction area and if you guys know tesla always likes running or dumping in the first couple minutes of the market open so if you get that direction right and if you get an actual trade plan and you're not just gambling you're not just guessing this will really work out in your favor now 264 i usually don't take you know trades off open like this but this was setting up nice and it was looking good you know i really don't need a lot of time to figure out if something's setting up or not especially if it's reacting at that 264. so we see it reacting there then it starts to come down and then it finally closes green right there so now we know there's reactions in that area and then when the tape started speeding up as you guys saw right in this 80s area you guys saw and you guys can replay the live trading video again you guys saw the tape was starting to speed up right in that area it was really looking good that's when I started to anticipate, and that's when I got fully in right at that 264 area. I wasn't really planning on selling anything until 265, and as you guys saw, this thing absolutely ran up, and the reason why I was waiting to 265, because 265 is that whole number, it's that psychological level, and you know, when Tesla picks a direction, it picks a direction, it's not gonna give me a 20 cent move, and if it does, then I'm wrong on the trade. So since I was right on the trade, you know, at least to that 265, that's what I was looking at, and then once it broke that 265, I'm just waiting for it to show signs of it slowing down or when we get a really nice push above that 265 and as you guys saw we literally sold in the 30s my mark was 31 which was 10 cents away from the high literally the opposite of what i did yesterday when we sold the low on the puts we sold the high on the calls which is perfect that's exactly what we want literally got the best price on those puts since we sold the low yesterday and since we sold the high today on calls, we literally got the best price. This was 10 cents away from the high. Yesterday was one cent or two cents away from the low, which was perfect. And we keep doing that back to back days. I was fully out right there. And as you guys saw, that literally was that high of the day, actually. You know, this thing came all the way back down. So that was the perfect sell right in that area because I had seen, you know, this came all the way back down to 261. And then it came all the way back up. And even then, 
you know, it didn't get to where our sell was. Our sell was at 3-1 area. So literally a perfect sell on that move. This is the perfect example of not hesitating, you know, being patient, waiting for it. I was waiting for 265. Once 265 broke and started showing some signs of weakness, I was fully out right there. And, you know, it was a great sell, no hesitation, plus 13%. And as you guys see, these things start adding up as well. And I'm pretty sure I got closer to that 15% because sometimes DAS is wrong about the percentage. So I looked back on my TOS account and it was closer to that 15 to 20% mark. So that was just a beautiful trade. And now we're on to tomorrow. Again, I live trade every single day. Link is in the description below. I do this every single day. Live trade this, you know, gave the plan, gave my executions, everything like that. Link is in the description below. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.